efficiency of a gasoline engine. In a gasoline engine, a gas consisting of air to which there is admixed a small amount of gasoline is introduced in a cylinder closed by a movable piston. The gas is then subject to a cyclic process which can be represented approximately by the steps shown in this figure where V denotes the volume and P bar the mean pressure of the gas. Here A to B represents the adiabatic compression of the air gasoline mixture, B to C the rise in the pressure due to the explosion of the mixture at constant volume since the explosion is too rapid to allow the piston time to move C to D is adiabatic expansion of the mixture during which it does useful work by moving the piston and D to A the final cooling down of the gas at constant volume during the exhaust phase of the cycle. To achieve an approximate analysis assume that the previous cycle is uh, carried out quasi-statically for a fixed amount of ideal gas having a constant molar specific heat uh, CV. Calculate thus for this engine its efficiency, the ratio of the work performed by the engine to the heat intake Q1. Express your answer, answer in terms of V1, V2 and gamma. Okay, <clears throat> so we can see that we have in this cyclic process a heat being absorbed, Q1, a heat being released, uh, Q2, and I use the right hand rule and look at the area enclosed by the cycle. It's a clockwise rotation. W is negative, so it's going to be work done by the engine. So this is W, work done by the engine, clockwise uh, rotation work done by the engine work done on the engine is negative that's what it means okay so we have uh, four steps a, the a to b adiabatic uh, compression adiabatic process here uh, we have isovolumetric process from b to c so this is Iso B to C is isovolumetric, isovolumetric, and also D to A is isovolumetric process, and C to D is another adiabatic process. Okay, so we are going to calculate the efficiency of this engine. The efficiency uh, and it's basically a heat engine and therefore so if I represent this in a schematic uh, drawing I have heat being absorbed uh, uh, from a reservoir That is uh, Q1, we're absorbing amount of heat uh, Q1 and uh, the temperature is changing in this process so it's not a reservoir in this case let's say this is our engine doing some useful work W and heat is being released Q2 to another object And um, let's not call these temperatures T1 and T2. So we just have two objects that are providing heat and absorb, uh, absorbing heat. Okay, so um, the efficiency of the engine, the heat engine, is def defined as the useful work output W divided by the amount of heat that we provide Q1 and using the first law of thermodynamics the internal energy change of the uh, engine is a q1 minus q2 a work done on the engine is minus w so uh, w is equal to q1 minus q2 therefore the efficiency that we will calculate is q1 minus q2 
divided by q1 which is 1 minus q2 over q1 so the task is to calculate uh, q1 and q2 so you can see that q1 is the uh, happening in the second step isovolumetric uh, process so for q1 i have step two isovolumetric process and what is the heat absorbed uh, in this case q1 is equal to uh, cv times uh, its molar specific heat is cv so it is going to be number of moles nu cv delta t and in step two i'm moving from uh, temperature b to temperature c at volume v1 so this is going to be a new cv tc minus tb so that is my q1 and for q2 i have um, step three which is another isovolumetric uh, process and in step three i have uh, the temperature changing from td to ta at constant volume v2 so the amount of heat uh, that is uh, released is minus new cv uh, delta t it's minus the heat absorbed so this is going to be minus new cv ta minus td or we can say that q2 is equal to cv uh, new cv td minus ta so therefore we find that my efficiency becomes uh, 1 minus q2 over q1 1 minus new cv td minus ta divided by new cv q1 which is tc minus tb so new cvs will cancel and therefore i need to calculate one minus uh, the ratio td minus ta tc minus tb so if i take this into ta parentheses and uh, the numerator into ta parentheses the denominator into tb parentheses one minus ta over tb i have td divided by ta minus one and here i have tc divided by tb minus one now uh, in order to find the relationship between the temperatures i'm going to look at the adiabatic steps so let's look at step one uh, for step one that is an adiabatic compression adiabatic compression and we are moving from uh, temperature a to temperature b and volume v2 to v1 so v2 temperature a to v1 uh, v1 temperature at temperature tb so uh, since in the adiabatic process tv to gamma minus one is a constant we have ta v2 to the power gamma minus one is tb v1 to the power gamma minus one and if i consider step four step four is an adiabatic expansion uh, step one to step three uh, one two so this step two was isovolumetric step four so i have mislabeled this one this one is step four is isovolumetric and step three is adiabatic expansion and in step three i'm moving 
from uh, C to D. So TC to TD volume V1 to V2. So therefore I have TC V1 to gamma minus 1 is TD V2 to gamma minus 1. So combining these two, you can see that if you write um, TA V2 to the power gamma minus 1 equals TB V1 to the power gamma minus 1, TC V1 to the power gamma minus 1, TD V2 to the power gamma minus 1 like this and divide these two you will have uh, v2 to gamma minus 1's cancelling v1 to gamma minus 1's cancelling and we find that t a over t d is equal to t b over t c or we can write t d over t a equals to t c over t b so with that if I go back to my efficiency, therefore, my efficiency is going to become 1 minus uh, TA over TB multiplied with nothing. Because this ratio, TD over TA minus 1 uh, and TC over TB minus 1, since TD over TA is TC over TB, this one will cancel. So it's going to be 1 minus TA over TB. On the other hand, uh, TA V2 to gamma minus 1 is TB V1 to gamma minus 1. So for efficiency, I can write 1 minus uh, TA over TB is V1 over V2 uh, to gamma minus 1. So this is the efficiency of the engine. Okay, so we talked about an I uh, ideal gasoline engine uh, that's quasi-static one where we have heat absorbed Q1 and heat released Q2 in a cyclic process and it's doing work W, the engine is doing work W, it consists of two isovolumetric and two adiabatic steps. Uh, first, I wrote the first law of thermodynamics to find that the W work output of the engine is Q1 minus Q2 and efficiency using its definition, uh, that's W over Q1. So efficiency is defined as the useful output W over Q1 for a heat engine. Um, I, I have to calculate 1 minus Q2 over Q1. Uh, Q1 is the heat absorbed by the engine in the second step, isovolumetric step. It is nu CV delta T, nu CV, number of moles, molar specific heat times delta T. We're going from TB to TC, so it's TC minus TB. And in step 4, isovolumetric process, D to A, uh, we have the heat absorbed is minus the heat released. So heat released Q2 is minus nu CV delta T. It's nu CV TD minus TA. So I find that the efficiency is 1 minus in TA over TB parentheses, TD over TA minus 1, TC over TB minus 1 ratio. And then I use the adiabatic processes uh, to find that uh, temperature and volumes are related as TV to gamma minus 1 is a constant. Uh, in step 1, we go from uh, V2 TA to V1 TB. And in step 3, we go from V1 TC to V2 TD. And uh, by taking the ratio of these two equations, we find that TV over TA is TC over TB. So the value in parentheses, uh, TD over TA minus 1 to TC over TB minus 1 ratio cancels, so it's 1 minus TA over TB. Since the problem says express your answer in terms of V1, V2 and gamma, uh, for TA over TB, I substitute TA over TB is equal to 
v1 over v2 to gamma minus 1. So this is from uh, this adiabatic step. So if, if I substitute that to the efficiency, then I obtain 1 minus v1 over v2 to the power gamma minus 1, where gamma is cp over cv, or uh, we can write this as um, cv plus r over cv because cp minus cv is the universal gas constant r